When I, in the beginning of my tshuva process, realized that I need to serve Hashem, I didn't want it. That. It was not my thing at all. I felt so disconnected from Judaism to look orthodox and to start wearing those panda uniforms. Like, I didn't feel comfortable with that. It was not my cup of tea. It wasn't an option at all. I was clubbing, we were dancing, I had my spikes belts and my Dr. Martins, my friend. <laughs> oh, please, I'm telling everyone. He will testify on me, I'm not making up. I didn't want to do tshuva. I didn't. But Hashem pushed me to the truth. He pushed me as an act of grace to recognize that I also have a part in the Torah. That I also belong in the zone of holiness, of purity. That I can also pray. When I came, in the, one of the first times that I came to, went to a mikveh, I wanted to purify myself from all my sins, from all my imaginations. I took off my shirt after fighting with myself that I will go to a mikveh, a real decent mikveh. I went, I took off my shirt. One of the FFBs over there, the from from birth, saw my terrifying tattoos on my left arm. He starts screaming in the mikveh, What have you done? Masita! Masita! What have you done? Why you did it to yourself? It took me three or four months to recover from that song. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're finding yourself that you want to start serving Hashem, you want to put fill in, and you don't know how. First time that I decided I'll be brave, I'll put Filin in the Western Wall. Many times I walked to, I don't know why, I was scared to keep to our mitzvot. I was afraid not to do it right. And I went to the Western Wall after I bought my, my, my set of Filin and I was standing in front of the Western Wall and there are nice tables over there that you can pray. And I was putting my tefillin of, of my arm on my left arm. And when I put my tefillin of head on my head, an old person came to me and told me, you forgot to take out the house, the covering of the tefillin from tefillin Rosh. And then I realized that for the last two weeks that I'm putting tefillin, I'm putting them with the boxes. Like, I didn't know. <laughs> I put one time tefillin in Gadi's store in, in the, the, in the Midrach home. I didn't remember. I thought that's the way you protect them, that's the way you respect them. I was putting them proudly with the houses, with the boxes, on my head, on my arm. He told me also the one on your arm is, is with the box. i like, hmm, hmm, can't talk. <laughs> what can you do? But when you break those challenges of your fears, of your low self-esteem, and you keep on marching, keep on walking toward yourself, to find your true self. I didn't find the Torah, I didn't find Mount Sinai, and I don't know the place of the Beit HaMikdash, where the Azara is supposed to. No, I just, I know what is my nature. I know what I want to do with my life. I know that in Shabbat, I don't want to go to the beach in Shabbat. No. I know that I found my quiet with my family in my house. That's where I found myself. I found that I don't like to read novels and, and action books. I like me, I, I rather to learn Torah. I'm enjoying it much, much more to learn about the Torah, ancient scripts of Midrashim. I like to read the Zohar Kadosh. I like to learn Halachot. I enjoy it. My wife thinks I'm crazy, and I cannot argue with that, but... <laughs> No one can argue with my wife, but in reality, I found myself and I know what I want to do and that's why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I want to. It was hard for me to admit, it was hard for me to understand, to recognize, but after you taste, you can see that it's good. After you taste the flavor of Torah, after you taste the flavor of tefillah, of prayer, you can sense the sweetness of those pure water, how it affects your life, how it purifies your mind, how it gives and, 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 and plant confidence and strength inside of you, gives you courage to deal with other challenges.